All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to the sign. And if you can't remember what happened in the last video, top right corner, you can see what happened previously on the sign. Now, we're not going to get into some big spiel about what's going on, but we're going to jump right back into it with the organ party. So that right there, that's Tessa. Tessa is the uh, the previous owner and also the ghost girl's sister. She's the younger sister. And the girl, we've, we now know that the ghost girl's name is Serena. So if the young lady doubts her credibility, just invite her to the group. Look, she did not doubt our credibility at all. But the group is not going to believe what we just found out from Tessa. Tell us quick. Don't rush me. Don't you jam rush me? Did she answer? Of course she answered. Did ladies love tongue tied? Of course she answered. <laughs> Go ahead, tongue tied. The ghost girl, her name is Serena Blake. And I'm probably saying that wrong. Seeing how I was saying, oh shit, why? <laughs> oh God, I was probably saying it wrong. I'm probably saying her name wrong because I was saying Sierra's name wrong the whole time. It's actually Kiera. Or according to Professor Kruger, which is probably Kruger, but I'm calling him Kruger. <laughs> according to Professor Kruger, her name is Kiera. So it's Serena Blake. Tessa is actually her sister, her younger sister by 15 years. Serena Blake uh, was thought to have committed suicide by jumping off of a bridge when she was 18 years old. And we were not that far off with, with uh, Samara. That's true. Finally, this is the best news in a long time. Oh, God, what did she tell you? Oh, so much, Kiera. She told me so much. Norma and Henry talking at the same time. How did Serena die? How did Serena die? Oh, my. <laughs> Are you guys standing right next to each other? Now you're now you're uh, uh, completing each other's sentences. Now you even think alike. <laughs> Spending too much time with each other, Norma and Henry. So according to police report, she took her own life 15 years ago. She was 18 years uh, old when she did that. She jumped off of a bridge and drowned, supposedly. But we think it was murder. We think she was murderized by somebody. And that somebody is Kruger. That's who I think. Suicide. But then everything we found out no longer makes sense. True. Revenge, murder, none of that fits together anymore. Right. Which is why I still think it's murder. It's not suicide. I think she was definitely murderized. Ooh, shit. It just, it just happens. It just happens randomly. And I'm never prepared. I... I'm always in like some kind of like sentence talking with you guys and then it just freaking happens. So anyway, now it's clear why water was involved in Quentin's and Gabriella's case where restless souls find it difficult to detach themselves from the nature of their passing. Oh gosh, I'm getting goosebumps. Carry on with the story tongue tied. What else were you able to find out so much? I found out so jam much. Here's a little screenshot of what we found out with Tessa. Uh, what other info might be helpful to you? Did you know about her pregnancy? And what makes you think that my sister was pregnant, right? It, it's some of the pictures in our in, in the video. So we were just as wrong about the pregnancy. From the looks of it, Tessa seems to believe us at least. Right. So Tessa the Tessa might have a theory or might might actually think that her sister might have been pregnant. Does Tessa have any doubt what might have actually happened? No, she doesn't, but she's trying to find out. Right. She had, um, shoot, I can't remember what it was. She, she, she said she had to look into something, right? Maybe she, oh, there was a box. There was a box that was left for her, and she was going to go look into the box and find out some stuff that she found or that was left to her in a box. Right, right, right. So foster parents kept the box of memories for me back then. They said I could open it when I was ready. It's, it's been down in the basement all these years. I'll have to look and see if I can find any clues in there. Be right back. Right, the box. That's going to be really important. Ooh, Tessa. Oh, Tessa's calling. What the 
Hello, Tessa. <laughs> I'm in the basement now. Oh, shit. Somehow I don't feel comfortable here at all. I don't feel comfortable either. I just feel like I'm being watched. You are. By me. Anyways, <laughs> look what I found. Mm, yeah. I'm gonna look at it. Ooh! No! That was creepy! I didn't like that one bit. Oh, Tessa. I, uh, ooh, I didn't like that one bit. Please let us know immediately when she gets back to you. Hopefully she'll find something out. We need to get in touch with Tessa. What's going on? Are you okay? What was that? Fuck, Tessa, are you okay? <laughs> I feel like that's that's more of an answer, I would say. <laughs> Please answer what I was like. Shit, Tessa, what happened? Are you okay? <laughs> Message was delivered. User offline. That's not good. That's not good. But see, Tessa is the sister. Why would she be attacking her sister? But I guess, you know, there's no rules. You know, when 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 you're a spirit, I guess, I don't know. I guess, I guess there's no rules attacking a family, even though we're trying to help. So I'm worried Tessa could be in danger because of Gabriella. It's not Gabriella. That's the thing. It's not Gabriella that's doing this. It's somebody using Gabriella as a guise. What happened? What makes you think that? Her video call suddenly dropped. There were weird noises in her basement. I have a bad feeling. Do we, are we not going to mention the the creepy like faces that were popping up in 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 my face? Like. <laughs> Just have a bad feeling. Weird noises in the basement. Video call suddenly dropped. I, that's probably the best one. They're gonna say, "Oh, maybe it was bad service, bad signal in the basement." Like, come on, everything that's been going on this whole time, and you're gonna say bad service, bad signal. Gabriella continues to pursue different goals than Serena. So, are we dealing with two spirits now, maybe? We're dealing with Serena and Gabriella? Hmm. It was to be expected that Tessa would be a thorn in her side, tongue-tied. Tessa, she's back. She's back. Oh, my God. Did you just witness that? Yes, I did. I totally did. I saw everything. Are you okay? There was sudden and really cold shiver. Yeah, I felt it. <laughs> It felt like someone was killing me just with their looks. No way that was my sister. Ah, so are we dealing with two spirits now? We're dealing with Serena and Gabriella? I thought... Oh, she's calling again. <laughs> Something's gonna happen. Ah, all right, all right, all right, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm fine, though. Oh, good. I'm back inside my room now, and... I've looked through the box. Safe and sound. I believe it. Just a sec. I'll send you something. Yeah, I, I bet you I will believe it. The screen. Oh, I was like, the screen's being... The screen was dark way too long. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so... Uh, where do we leave off? No way that was my sister. I don't think I've ever been so scared. Right. Ooh. What is that at the bottom? Is that poop? <laughs> <laughs> There's something at the bottom of that. It, is it dirt, maybe? Maybe it's dirt or mud. Dear Dyer, I went to the doctor today because of nausea and found out that I'm pregnant. We freaking knew it. Serena was pregnant this whole time. She was pregnant by Kruger. Kruger was fearful that he was going to like lose his job or something and murderized her, and now she's a spirit haunting everybody. It's all Kruger's fault. Of course, it's a bit early, but the two of us will manage. Besides... Mom will surely help with the child. Yes, there are some doubts as well, but it will be fine. I will be a mother, and Tessa will be an aunt at the age of six. Mom was, or mom has told me so many times how much she would like to have grandchildren someday, of course. It was not the plan that it would happen so early, but now it is what it is. I hope we will be as excited about it as I am. 
he. Oh, I hope he will be as excited about it as I am. I've already texted him to meet me at the old wishing bridge tomorrow after class. What could be more suitable than a place where dreams come true? I will go to sleep now, right again tomorrow. Your Serena. That, that, it, it, it happened. They, she, she, she messaged whoever it was. She was in love. The person was probably married or something. Met her at the bridge, pushed her off the bridge, and made it seem like it was suicide, and then got away from it. It was Kruger. I'm telling you, I think it was Kruger. I mean, she's 18 years old. She's in class. Kruger's a professor. Like, oh, it's it's got to be. It's got to be Kruger. So Serena really was pregnant, and she was so happy about it. Just can't believe this. Right. Sorry you have to find out this way. So you're, So we were right with our guests after all. Your sister has been trying to tell us this all along. Hmm. I think we'll go with that one. The sister has definitely been trying to tell us this all along. I'm telling you, it's Kruger. It's got to be. I'm going to take a proper look at her things now. I'll get back to you as soon as I find something. All right. Hold on a sec, please. Would it be okay if I added you to the group chat? Right. I think everybody would really enjoy that. Good idea. Probably easier for all of us. The phone is freaking out right now. Ooh. I don't know why. I'm so on edge right now. <laughs> I'm so on edge right now that this little pop-up kind of like made me twitch a little bit. <laughs> like I was like <laughs> blocking something. I was like guarded or something. <laughs> so add the contact tested to the group chat. Right, using the ID of the plus number. Easy. Eight seven nine 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 nine. All right, it's been added. Let's get back to the organ party. Tongue tied added Tessa to the group. Hello, everyone. I'm Tessa. Nice to meet you, Tessa. Serena's sister. Uh, Tessa agreed to help us. I took the liberty of adding Tessa to the group. Thanks for helping us, Tessa. Look at that. Tongue tied came through, everybody. Nice to meet you, Tessa, says Kiera. Glad you're okay, Tessa. Hi, Tessa. Hello, Tessa. Where's Kruger? Kruger's not going to say hi to Tessa. Kruger already knows Tessa. Kruger knew that Serena had a younger sister named Tessa. I'm so sorry what you had to go through in your childhood. It's okay. I don't remember much of it. After all, this happened. This all happened 15 years ago when, when uh, Tessa was six, five, five or six. Besides, I guess you guys deserve my sympathies. So Tongue Tide has already informed you about our predicament. Not quite. <laughs> Cedric. Saying hi to Tessa. We I haven't really told her too much about what's going on as far as our predicament. He told me about the video and the curse. Did I? I told about the video and the curse, but did I say that we only had like four days left to live? I don't remember. And also, the two of your friends have already died because of it. I do I do remember saying that. Our friend Gabriella and her little brother Quentin, their seven days were up. Both of them drowned, just like your sister Tessa. It's just awful. If this curse is indeed connected to my sister in any way, I would do everything possible to help you. Oh, Tessa, you're such a sweet person. So nice of you. We have to make sure Tessa does not get the video. Got to keep her alive. Thank you, Tessa. Really appreciate it. You're currently our greatest hope. You owe it to us, too. <laughs> That's rude. No, you're, you're currently our greatest hope. And thank you, Tessa. We really appreciate it. Either one of these are good, but I, I, I'm a. I'm, I'm going to say thank you. I'm going to say thank you because I, I do appreciate it. I do appreciate Tessa trying to help us in the best way possible. Kruger, thank you so much, Tessa. You cannot imagine what a relief it is. For us to have your support. I don't believe that bit. One bit. I don't believe that one bit, Kruger. 
Tessa says, no worries. I found something and tongue-tied thought it might be relevant. Oh, it's the note, the letter. You guys are about to find out that we were right all along about the about the, the pregnant uh, Serena. A diary entry she had written on the same day she died. Right, that's the, we read that diary already. Does this, does this bring back memories, Kruger? I wonder if it, I wonder if it's bringing back some flashbacks, Kruger. She really was pregnant. We were right the whole time. This doesn't sound suicidal to me, though. No, not at all. She was super happy. She was crazy happy to be pregnant. She was crazy happy to have a, to, to be having that baby. She was, it seemed like she was super in love with the, with, with the guy that, you know, impregnated her. <laughs> she was even looking forward to the baby. Right, she was looking forward to the baby. She thought that the guy was going to be really happy. This really doesn't look like a suicide note. Maybe the father didn't want the child. Father didn't want the child or the mother, <laughs> apparently. But it really doesn't look like a suicide note. What do you think, Kruger? Does it look like a suicide note? Were you not happy to have a baby and an and a, and a 18-year-old baby mama? <laughs> Tessa, do you have any idea who might who, who the father might be? No, I don't. Sorry. Mama never mentioned anything about a boyfriend before she died. I, it wasn't a boyfriend. I don't think it was a boyfriend. I think it was Kruger. I think it was a little a little side. I think I think Serena, unfortunately, was a little side action. And things got a, things got out of hand, and and Kruger had to put an end to it. That's what I think. Didn't even know she was pregnant when when she. How did your mother or how did your mother die? At the time, alcohol was her only comfort, and she was killed in an accident. That's so horrible. Sorry for everything, Tessa. We really need to find out who she was meeting with. Right. I bet we. I bet. Oh, it's Kruger. I know it's Kruger. I mean, I don't know it's Kruger, but. Man, I'm super suspicious on Kruger. You really need to find out. And uh, if anyone knows more about the cause of death, it's our Mr. X. I'm telling you, he killed her. Our Mr. X. Who was Mr. X? I don't remember who Mr. X is. I'm telling you, he killed her. It was Sherlock Holmes now. The police would certainly have figured that out. In any case, that's something we should consider. Look, I think I think in any case it's something we should definitely consider. There's no way that she jumped. She was she was definitely thrown off. Like I can't even say she was pushed because to be pushed means that she was she had to be standing up on like the ledge. She had to have been thrown. Maybe any friends or relatives know something about him. My mother was an only child. I didn't have any aunts or uncles, unfortunately. Who's Mr. X? I don't remember who Mr. X is. And I have no contact with any of Serena's former friends or acquaintances. Sorry. I was taken in by a lovely foster family after my mother died. But let's slow down. What makes you think my sister was murdered? Well, she's an evil spirit now, for one. Henry, this is your part. You can probably... Henry, Henry could probably explain it a little bit better than we can. Uh, we, we appreciate that, Henry. Just trying to keep it short. Your sister Serena is, is stuck in the in-between world. She uses the video as a means to solve her murder case. And at the same time, give everybody a you know, a due date. I knew it. I knew it all along. But why does she use a video and not just tell us the name of the killer? Legitimate question. Maybe she doesn't know herself. I'm now curious about your answer, Henry. That's a, I think it's a legitimate question. She definitely knows. I think she definitely knows who it is, but it's it's kind of like one of those things. It's like, 
I can't just tell you, I got to lead you. I got, you have to find out on your own or else I can't move on, right? She can't move on unless we find out on our own, but she can kind of help us. She kind of lead us in the, in the right direction. She can kind of give us hints and clues, but we still need to do the work. We still need to find out on our own for that to complete her transition into the afterlife. This is extremely complicated. Let me try to explain it to you. In the last 20 years, I have come across this phenomenon more than once, but I will make it clearer to you with a case study. A young woman was murdered by her uncle. Mysterious clues suddenly appear in her diary. She was trying to guide me without directly naming the killer. I was eventually able to solve the case and free her soul. For me, there is a there is therefore only one plausible explanation. Ghosts can only scatter clues. However, it is not possible for them to name their own killer, as in our case. Right, they can't name the killer, so they ha we have to be able to find it out on our own. They can, they can help us, they can lead us in, that, in, the, in the right direction, they can kind of give us some, some, some clues, but we have to be able to find out on our own. You mean like the game Taboo? Medication, remedy, pill, juice, doctor. I, I, I don't, I've never played the game Taboo. <laughs> Only clues, but never the word itself. Oh, okay. Maybe. Then, yeah. Put very simply, but yes. <laughs> but I don't understand if she needs your help. Why is she threatening to kill you after seven days? Right. Well, the reason I think for that is because if she didn't have that threat there, if there was no punishment for not helping her or punishment from for just kind of like blowing it off, then it'll never be solved. It'll, the, the, nobody will ever help. So you put that punishment there. You put that that uh, that due date there. That way you're, you're forcing people to help you or else they're going to die. Tessa, I'll write you in a private message in a moment. There are some things you might need to know. Mr. Fonts, may I call you Henry? Yes, of course. Wait a minute. Oh, what? Oh, Wolf found someone. I already texted him to meet me at the old wishing bridge tomorrow after class. What could be more? Okay, so it's basically like the he. They met after class at the wishing bridge. Right. It was probably a professor. And there's one professor in our group that's not talking very much right now. Do you know this bridge? Do you mean because of the time of day? What's your point? So maybe the br oh, so maybe the bridge has cameras. If we can find out the day and time, the bridge might have cameras. No, I don't, but the university could be another point of interest for us. If both went to the same university, we might find out who the father was. Tessa, do you happen to know what university your sister went to? Do you happen to know who what, what the Rishing Bridge is? She, she, Tessa doesn't know shit. <laughs> I didn't mean that. <laughs> Making this hard, Tessa. We're trying. <laughs> but I'm trying to figure it out somehow back in a bit. So Tessa, there, there's there's a lot. Tessa's learning a lot as well. She's She's learning just as much as we are. And it's making it difficult for her. I'm, I'm, I'm sure she's just her mind is just exploding with with new information that she never knew about her own family. Mom, hi, mom. Hello, my darling. Just got mail. You've got mail. <laughs> Frank sent me a test copy of my baking book. Oh, that's right. Mom was making a baking book around the world with the baking tray. Sakura mochi. That sounds delicious. American cheesecake. Oh, my favorite dessert, cheesecake. Oh, I love cheesecake. How cool is that? A little too lively. How do you like it? I, did, I think it's freaking cool. I'm so happy for mom. Okay. <laughs> Extremely cool. And your favorite cake is on the cover too. Is my the Black Forest cake? I don't know. My favorite cake is on there too. The American cheesecake. 
so excited. Imagine going to the bookstore and, and there's my book. Still can't quite believe it. My mother, the best-selling author. You already have one buyer. Please don't get excited too soon. It's still a long way to go. Don't crush her dreams. But you've already got one buyer. But look, my mother, the, the best-selling author. Now I'm really blushing. Oh, your father is just coming home. I'll show him the copy right away. I'll talk to you later, sweetie. Okay, bye, Mom. All right, Tessa found something. I actually found something. Oh, I can't wait to see it in the box. Serena's old student ID. Now we know where the university is. University of Tennessee. Got the library card, got the card ID, University of Tennessee. Well, look at that. She went to our university. Oh, oh, professor, you were teaching at the university 15 years ago, weren't you, professor? Oh, my goodness. Oh, Kruger, you are. Oh, it's getting close. Oh, my. Oh, I jam knew it. Yes, I was already teaching at the university at the time. However, I met. I never met her, Kiara. She is completely unknown to me. Oh, you're lying. You're so jam lying. Maybe that's why we're in this mess, because we all went to the same university. I don't think so. Your theories are getting better and better. Yeah, right, and she forgot about the other 10,000 students. I, I don't want to be rude to them, but I'm going to be rude. You're right. And she forgot about the other 10,000 students. <laughs> Kruger. Oh, it's so Kruger. I know it's Kruger. And she went to our same university. Coincidence? I think not. If she was a student at our university, there may be some records. This can be assumed. Assumed. Look, now Kruger's starting to... He's starting to... He's starting to the to turn the tides a little bit. He's trying to like he's trying to beat around the bush. This can be assumed, but let's not jump to conclusions. The <laughs> the compulsory retention period for academic records is 20 years. I will look for the documents after class when everyone is gone. Ah, we we shouldn't let Kruger do it. He's going to get rid of the documents. There's no way he's going to actually find the documents and show us. Hopefully you'll find something about her. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Are you drunk yet? Don't worry. <laughs> Due to the inspiring conversations with Henry, I hardly get a chance to drink anything. Inspiring conversations. Norma and Henry, they're going to end up hooking up. I know they are. No more information. <laughs> the inspiring conversations. I wonder if that's a code to like, they're not talking very much. They're... <laughs> <laughs> They're doing the horizontal dance. <laughs> well, I'm pleased the two of you were able to bury the hatchet. Oh, <laughs> I bet you Henry is burying the hatchet. <laughs> Leah, you received a video. Did I? I did. Leah, the video. Oh, I can't wait to see it. It's so pretty. Hey, you. Hey, you. I was just thinking about you and I thought I'd send you a video. Maybe you can go for a walk with me and Whiskey sometime. Whiskey. I oh, the puppy. He misses you too. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. I love it. I would love to go a walk with, with Leah and Whiskey. Can't really say no to that. Sweet of you, but I don't think I want that. What? Who would ever say that? Should wait a little longer with that, Leah. <laughs> Who could say no? Thought for sure something was going to happen in that video. <laughs> Whiskey isn't the only one that's excited. I had a lot of time to think on my walks. We have both learned from our mistakes, right? Don't you think it could work out between us again? Don't start that again. This is not the right time. It's just hard for me. There actually is no yes to that. Hmm. Let's 
just it's just as hard for me too. Hmm. It's either not the right time or it's just as hard for me too. I just don't know what the <laughs> I feel like there's a correct answer here. <laughs> I just don't know what the correct answer is. You know what, Leah, it's it's just as hard for me too. Oh, that might have been the correct answer. The the relationship improves. But we were always a dream team. I'm prepared to work on myself. I know now that I need to give you more space and time for your own interests. It's not so much my own interests, Leah. I just only have four days left to live. <laughs> right? So, you know. Ooh, ooh, something's happening. Something's happening. Phone was freaking out. All right, so I'm, I'm, she's, she's willing to work, prepared to work on herself. That, that's a good sign. Like, I, I mean, I'm sure we could both work on ourselves, right? To, to, to build a better relationship. Please give our relationship a second chance. I'm sorry, Leah, but I just can't do that. Please don't make this harder for me than it already is. I'd be prepared to do that, but give me a. You know what? There it is. I'd be prepared to do that, but just give me what is happening. Gabrielle is not happy about that. Whoa! My message got deleted. I'm good. I'm glad you read that. I did delete it. You don't need to be unsure. You have all the time in the world. Oh, shit! Fuck! Oh, why? Oh. Message deleted again? What's going on? Ooh. The hell? Did you do this? No! How? 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 Tell me how I could have done that. How did you manage to delete my messages? I didn't. Don't blame me, Leah. I did not. There's no possible way. Look, me and Hans aren't even talking right now. I... The only way I could do that was with Hans. You'll have to explain it to me. I can explain it to you later. You're not going to believe it, but I can explain it. But I'm going for a walk with whiskey home first. Talk to you later. I'm telling you, if I... I just... I have a... Let me... So let me tell you guys my fear right now with this game. I honestly fear that if we build this relationship with Leah, she's going to end up dead by the end of the game and we're going to be heartbroken i'm telling you hearts going to be ripped from our chest if we try to build this relationship with leah when we were every time every time that we try to say something nice or say that we're going to start working on a relationship gabriella or, or whoever that is whatever spirit that's 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 doing this is is getting worse and i think oh, i think they're gonna do something Ruby, tongue tied. Are you there? Yes, I am. I need someone to talk to. You could talk to me. I'm, I'm, I'm great to talk to. And that's when you thought of me. Yes, Ruby. What's going on? Does it have to be now? What's What's up, Ruby? I just can't take it anymore. I saw her again. I was on the couch trying to distract myself. Suddenly the lights started flickering and I heard a scratching sound. Oh, is she going to call me? Then she was standing in front of me again. Every time she shows up, she has more scars on her face and her eyes were bloodshot. Ooh, tongue tied. I wasn't even able to move. I, <laughs> shit, I wouldn't have been able to move either. Trust me on that. Believe that. It's happening to all of us, Ruby. Not long now, then this horror is over. Try to ignore her, she's just playing with us. Look, it's not gonna be, it's it's not long. Trust me, Ruby, it's not gonna be very much longer. We just have to, just have to push through. We're almost there. We're, 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 we're learning more and more. I don't know, tongue tied. Keep telling myself she's just trying to scare us. 
and that we will solve Serena's murder, but I'm running out of strength. Oh, no. We've come this far, Ruby. Don't let her get you down. No, uh, Now stop getting too wound up about it. Ruby, stay strong. I'm here for you anytime. Look, Ruby, I'm here for you. You just need to stay strong. We're almost there. Come on, Ruby. No, damn it. I'm done being strong. I just hope we see a light at the end of the tunnel soon. And Leah. This is weird. You're telling me. I know it's weird. Oh, it's starting to happen again. I don't like it. There was a big box in front of my door. Don't open it. Don't know. Don't you open that box. Oh, that doesn't look good at all. There's a symbol there. There's all kinds of symbols. There's handprints and blood. Oh, check what's inside. <laughs> oh, do we check what's inside? That's definitely not coming from Amazon. <laughs> Something tells me you should keep your hands off of it. Sure you didn't order anything. Oh, I'm now I'm curious. I'm kind of curious as to what's in the box. Ooh, check what's inside. Oh, I have a feeling this is going to be, this isn't going to be good. Bad feeling about this, but I got to see what's in the box. <laughs> I will. Oh, no. Oh. Ah, yes. I love it. <laughs> Enos. Sound of Enos. Hey, cuties. Oh, my goodness. Leah just went offline. Someone is playing a little joke on me. But we didn't... What the... Oh, I don't know. The Sound of Enos. She has a new profile picture. Look at that. Enos with the new profile picture. I have great news. I got feedback on my demo tape. They'd be very interested in recording a new song with me. That's awesome. I, I meant that to awesome, like from me, not I wasn't trying to read Phil's text. Like <laughs> I was actually thinking, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, wow, maybe soon my sister will be a pop star. You're really lucky. That's not all luck. I, w I wasn't expecting that. I, I'm so happy for you, Enes. Probably saying her name wrong now, too. I have no idea. It's probably not even Phil. It's probably f file or something. I don't know. <laughs> nice of you, tongue-tied. They actually want to meet me in person this week. Oh, yeah, I bet they do. You got this. Just be yourself, right? That's all you got to do, Enos. Just be yourself. So, Leah, see, I told you. What's in the box, Leah? It was just a silly joke. <laughs> I don't think it is. The box was empty. Don't you think that's a little strange? And there's nobody to be seen. Is there a return address on it? No, but don't you think it's a little strange, Leah? You got a strange, empty box in front of your house? I'm telling you, someone wanted to get rid of their cardboard. I don't think so. There's like symbols and shit on that. Anyways, there was nothing but cold air in the box, as if the box came straight from Alaska. That was a... You just unleashed the spirit. <laughs> oh, well. That's weird. Cold air inside of a box? Cardboard isn't going to keep cold air in. Today really isn't my day. Now there's a power cut. Now there's a power cut. Oh, so she lost power, maybe? Talk to you later. Gabriella is writing. You don't know where you're... And then it says something. And you guys can find out what Gabriella is going to say in the next video. I hope you guys are enjoying the sign as much as I am. If you haven't already, hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. We have new information about Serena, the pregnancy, the wishing bridge, 
Whether she was murderized or not, let me know what your theories are in the comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and join the Tethered and this amazing tongue-tied community. As always, thanks for watching. Love you all, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.